Duke responds to the Georgia Tech field goal, and they take the lead 7-3 to three on the uh, short touchdown run for Shaquille Powell. That's his first rushing TD of the season. And uh, they marched right down the field and really didn't give Tech much of a chance on that drive. 12 plays, 75 yards, very methodical. They try and drop in an onside kick over the front line. And it appears that Tech was able to get on it. And it will be Georgia Tech football. How about an update now? Back to the studio. All right, Beth, Anthony, Chris Cotter back here in Bristol. Michigan State on the board early in East Lansing. Madre London taking this one in from six yards out after a long completion of a Garrett Kings. It's 7-0. Michigan State on top of the Chippewas. Beth? Thank you very much, Chris. Oh, a big week, certainly, for the Big Ten as uh, Ohio State Michigan State are the top two teams in the most recent poll. It's the highest rank for the Spartans since that epic 1966 season. Of course, they still will have to face off during the regular season of Big Ten play. And run it right up the middle with Patrick Scove. Down in the field now, Paul Carcaterra. Well, preparing for the Georgia Tech triple option could be a daunting task, but do not tell Duke senior safety Jeremy Cash that. I had a chance to catch up with Cash earlier in the week. He told me that you can't be fooled by the sleight of hand. Georgia Tech likes to disguise and use tricks. So he plans on giving them a dose of their own medicine. Look for him to show and line up one way and go another. 16 in black will be all over the field today. Folks, watch number 16. Think of Cam Chancellor when you're watching this young man. He brings that kind of force to the defense against offenses. One of the best defensive players I've seen on tape. Cam Chancellor, of course, uh, getting set to return to the field for the Seattle Seahawks after his holdout. But what kind of bluffs? You know, they talked a little bit yesterday about different looks and different blitzes. Is that what they're going to do with Cash? Well, they're going to put him inside gap. They're going to fake him on the outside as an outside rusher because Georgia Tech's going to be cognizant of where he lines up because he's such a factor in this team right now. You see him inside. He peeks around right now on the inside. He tries to poke his nose in there against this offense. Third and two for Tech. Cash showing he's coming. He gets bumped to the side. The pitch... And the rest of the Blue Devils are right there to swarm DeAndre Singleton with the tackle on Clinton Lynch and a four-yard loss, and it's fourth down. Cash is going to shoot the gap here again. He is a factor. Even though he gets blocked, they have to bring a body on him. But when they get it outside, you better make sure your alley defender is there to make a tackle. Number 33, Singleton, does a nice job of getting off his block and being physical. The one thing you can say about these defensive backs at Duke is that they're going to come up and hit somebody. Right there is a perfect example. And the snap goes over the head of the Tech punter, Ryan Rodwell. He tried to pass it upfield. My goodness. Rodwell tried to throw a bit of a pass there to get the ball out of the way. It looks like that will be, uh, since that was fourth yeah. down, are they ruling that an incomplete pass here? Which, instead of Rodwell falling on the loose ball all the way back around his own 20-yard line, the line of scrimmage is back out closer to midfield. Yeah, that's a question right there. One, he has to get it back to that line of scrimmage. Now Which was, he did. Was 99 even an eligible yeah. player to catch the ball? He actually turned and got his head up to see where the Duke players were coming. And it looks like they are going to spot the ball and turn it over on downs to the Blue Devils back out at the 48-yard line. So right now, a heads-up play by yes. your punter. Saving the day there on a poor snap. 